If there's anything that unites all of us, it is our universal hatred of spam calls. No one wants to be sold a credit card or whatever it is that these callers are selling in the middle of work or worse, when we are half asleep. But our days of going, hello, con? Hello, who's there? Are now over thanks to almost every phone having true caller. However, true caller isn't the great savior that we think it is. There's a huge catch in its business model. But not to worry, it is soon getting a much stronger and safer competitor, the Indian government. Wondering what's going on? Welcome back to Revolution Read On, a daily podcast where we break down one story from the world of business and finance. Click on the subscribe button to never miss an update from us. Here's your story for today. True Caller enjoys an undisputed monopoly in India. Despite being a Swedish company, nearly 77% of its user base or 235.5 million active users are located here. Out of the SEK 1.12 billion revenue, that's 830 crore Indian rupees it made last year, India contributed about 787 million SEK. That's INR 578 crores, almost 70%. And this makes sense. India is the world's fourth most spammed country. In 2021, one spammer in India alone made over 202 million spam calls. So Truecaller obviously has a huge demand. But it turns out Truecaller is exploiting us. Uh, how? Ever wondered how Truecaller knows exactly who's calling you? Well, it isn't because it went through all the old Yellow Pages uh, for our dear Gen Z audience. Yellow Pages was a massive book where the phone numbers of everyone were recorded. You see, every time you download the Truecaller app, you give it access to all your contacts. Now, this has pros and cons. Pros. If you've ever been scammed by someone and saved their surname as scammer or fraud, it automatically informs other users of Truecaller that this number is not to be trusted. This also happens when too many people flag a number. Cons, even if someone on your contact list hasn't downloaded Truecaller, their number is now on Truecaller's database without their permission. In fact, some reports suggest that a majority of the numbers present in its database have been added without consent. Now, this may not sound like a big deal to you. After all, we give out our phone numbers to so many people. But there's yet another super high security risk with Truecaller. Apparently, the app can read your messages according to research by Caravan magazine. Yes, even those messages sent from your bank that track how much money has been debited or credited from your account. This way, the company is reportedly trying to build detailed financial profiles of users and then could use its short-term loan facility to send loan offers to users when their bank balance falls below a certain limit. And you thought only the big tech companies tracked your online activities. Well, we'd highlighted the privacy risks from Truecaller a long time back. But Truecaller has denied all of these allegations. Nonetheless, the company is running a super hit business in India and we are partly to blame for this. If we had a strong data privacy bill in place, Truecaller wouldn't be able to pull all these tricks. But it seems like Truecaller's glory days are now over. The Telecom Regulatory Authority of India, or TRI, is developing a caller identification service similar to Truecaller. Yes, the government of India has taken a cue from both CMO Aman Gupta and gone all humbi bana lenge. So it is developing a Truecaller alternative. This alternative is said to be more accurate than Truecaller. How? The government is not going to rely on your contact names to identify people. Yes, no more getting calls from someone's papa, dadi or a random chintu. Try will tell you exactly who's calling because they'll verify contacts using the KYC details that people filled when buying a SIM card. This means super accurate information. So is this the end of true caller? 
Well, maybe not. You see, True Caller does much more than just show you the name of who's calling. It is expanded to include features such as number one, call reason to tell people why you're calling. Number two, search engine to identify callers by providing their phone numbers. Number three, True Caller for business to help businesses connect with their customers in a more trusted manner. This feature allows businesses to verify their identity by adding the correct name, brand logo, and a green caller ID. For a monthly call volume of 50,000, the app charges 15 to 19,500 rupees per month. Right now, it has over 1,000 active business customers across 33 countries. Number four, True Caller Priority Services to distinguish between good and spam calls. The color purple is used to signify priority calls by e-commerce, food delivery, and other such companies that need our immediate attention. It is also working on an AI-enabled assistance service that will have the ability to answer, filter, and manage calls on the user's behalf. So for businesses in India and those getting a high volume of daily calls, True Caller still seems like the preferred option. But with a data privacy bill finally coming into the picture, True Caller may face a lot of difficulties in India in the future. So is this the end of True Caller? And for now, it's a wrap. Thank you for listening to this episode. We'll be back with more tomorrow. Until then, read on.